booktube it's thea and um it is friday at about five o'clock so i'm officially home from work and i am really excited to try out um my first kind of reading vlog weekend reads video it's like kind of everyone is doing them on booktube right now as far as like reading vlogs and i love watching them so i figured i would go ahead and maybe try one and see how it works out if you guys enjoy it please let me know this might be something that i do maybe every other week or so um to be honest i don't really do much during the week i pretty much just work and come home and eat dinner and watch Netflix and go to sleep <laughs> um, but the weekend is kind of my free-for-all and sometimes I get a lot of reading done sometimes I don't but I figured I would go ahead and try it um, and see how it goes uh, so I don't really know what the plan is for the weekend I do know that I might go to a movie tomorrow morning with my boyfriend um, and as far as kind of what the plan is I might go do some book shopping um, I do have to do some shopping at Target this weekend because I did recently accept a job offer and so I have to get some new things for my wardrobe <laughs> um, so I might take you guys along with me if I do that um, but I yeah I'm just kind of kind of doing this on the whim I'm gonna see how it goes I will show you guys what I plan on reading this weekend so I'm only about 75 pages into people kill people by Ellen Hopkins this follows um, six teens in Tucson Arizona and um, they all are connected in some way that you learn through reading and it's about one person who ends up um, shooting off a gun and one person who dies um, this wasn't really something that was on my TBR at all but I happened to be at the library I happened to see it I figured you know what I don't really have anything else on my TBR for September since I finished everything but I wasn't quite ready to start my October TBR yet and Emma Hopkins um, does all of her books in like little vignettes and like little verses so it, this will be a quick easy read and I do plan on trying to get through as much as possible if not the whole thing this weekend if I do finish this I want to go ahead and pick up Mary Poppins by P L Travers this is Mary Poppins um, I mean I love the adaptation I've never actually read the book um, and I happen to see it at the library I figured you know what this is probably something I can get to in a sitting it's just under 200 pages or so and it's middle children's middle grades so it'll be a really quick easy read and the font is very big um, so it should be a quick easy read and this could be something that I can pick up over the weekend as well what come here you gonna be in the video come here you gonna be in the video can you say hi oh hello hi <laughs> ah! oh hey hi oh my goodness oh my goodness hello hello puppy hi you wanna say okay so these are my this is my plan for the weekend I definitely um am just kind of kind of have a chill weekend um and then I do need to get my October TBR together and figure out what I'm gonna read for October. I do have my Spookathon TBR planned out. I'm super excited for it. You'll see a TBR video coming your way very soon if this is up before that video. Um, but yeah, so it's just gonna be kind of a super chill weekend. Um, we'll see kind of how it goes. I will see you guys later. Bye. out in my backyard with Roy. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Um, since we last spoke, I read absolutely nothing. <laughs> um, I did end up filming my October TBR, which was not my original goal, but I had time and I figured, you know what, let's just get it done. Um, but I'm really excited to show you guys the books that I plan on reading for October. I'm really excited to dive into them and um, look out for that probably next week or so sometime after this vlog goes up but I am just really excited to be able to get to the books that I have planned for October I've got some really fun kind of spooky reads and a couple kind of just dark atmospheric reads 
Um, but I ended up not reading anything, so I did film my TBR, and I had dinner, my boyfriend made steak, oh, so good, so delicious, and then I ended up starting, um, Little Witch Academia, which is so cute, and just reminds me of Harry Potter in such a fun, adorable way, but I'm really, um, enjoying that, so I probably will maybe read, um, I wanted, like, to at least read, like, 100 pages tonight, um, but we'll see how it goes. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, um, but I will check in with you guys. If you guys don't see me, uh, later tonight, you guys probably will see me tomorrow, but I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye! <laughs>out of the shower and I'm just hanging outside uh, for a few minutes with my dog I just wanted to pop in and give you guys a quick update about my reading progress last night I ended up only reading like 35 pages before I briefly passed out um, but people kill people by Ellen Hopkins is very interesting it's too early to tell if I like it or not but it is very interesting it's n not like anything I've read before it's told in second person from the point of view of the gun I don't know we'll see how it goes um I have a pretty busy day so I hope probably won't you won't see a lot of me You'll probably maybe see some clips but I am gonna go see the house with a clock in its walls in about 11 30 or so with my boyfriend and our roommate probably take you guys along with me you might see a little bit of clips here and there from the day um but I've got a pretty busy day. I just really wanted to quickly pop in and let you guys know how the reading progress went for the day. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Bye. Hey guys, Thea here with another update. I am just getting ready to head out. I really quickly, really quickly just want to pop in and let you know that I read about 48 pages or so this morning, so I'm up to 100, page 162. I'm making slow progress. Um, I'm just, this is just very strange. <laughs> and um, I just don't know how I'm feeling about it yet. Um, I'm really curious to kind of see where it goes, kind of once the story starts to pick up a little bit. Um, but I really quickly just want to give you guys a quick update. I'm getting ready to head out to get some shopping done, and then we decided we're going to go to a later movie, so we're going to go to the movie about 2 o'clock or so. Um, so we're just going to head out and get some lunch and do a little bit of shopping, but really quickly just want to give you guys the update. I'll see you guys a little later. Bye!
interesting weekend. I've just been very tired. Um, but I have not a lot of plans for today. Um, my Roy does have a grooming appointment at noon. Um, and uh, I might go see another movie. We did do see, we did see um, The House with the Clock on its Walls yesterday. That was fun. It wasn't like spectacular. Um, but it's such a children's movie. I wasn't really expecting a lot, but it was fun. I gave it, like, a, a fairly average C. Um, but, yeah. So, I am just going to get up and get ready for the day. I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later. I do want to show you guys what I ended up buying yesterday. Um, so I'll probably do a quick little mini haul for you guys a little later. But I just really quickly wanted to pop in and let you guys know how the rest of the night went. And kind of just, um, give you the morning update but I'll check with you guys a little bit later. Okay. Good morning. Hey buddy. Monday, the end of day, so the weekend reading vlog is officially over. I just wanted to pop in, give you guys kind of a wrap of how everything went, and let you know that I didn't end up reading anymore in People Kill People by Ellen Hopkins. Um, Sunday was just kind of crazy and busy, and then the night just got, we were out with some friends, went to dinner, and it just kind of went late, so I didn't end up getting any more reading done in that, but I am up to page 210, um, and I just... I don't really know how I feel about this, but um, for now, I think I'm just going to put it down because as it is October 1st, I'm going to probably just start trying to pick up more spooky reads, but um, I think I might just put this down for now and um, maybe pick it back up a little bit later. 
I did get my nails done, which was really fun. Um, I wanted something fall and like a little bit more burgundy, but um, the color was a little bit different than what came out. So they're a little more Christmassy red, but um, that's okay, I'll deal with it. <laughs> and then we ended up buying up just a couple things. We ended up buying Annihilation at Target over the weekend. Um, we, both my boyfriend and I, really enjoyed this movie. It's probably one of our favorite movies that we've seen in 2018. And so we definitely wanted to go ahead and pick up a copy. And then at the used bookstore that I went to, we picked up the let we picked up Triss and the Legend of Luke. Both of these are in the Redwall series. Um, I've kind of just been picking them up as I go, just to kind of read whenever. There's not really an order that you have to read them in because they all are kind of like their own individual stories within the world. But um, I'm really excited to dive into these. I probably won't get to these until maybe early next year, just because with you know, that with October being all the spooky reads, and then like November being fall reads, um, and December being like winter reads, I might not pick these up right away. But um, these were only four dollars each, so that was kind of a nice find to kind of just pick up and add to the the Red Walk collection. So that's just a really quick kind of mini haul of the things that were purchased over the weekend. Um, I really enjoyed kind of stepping out of my comfort zone a little bit and doing these vlogs. If you enjoy them, please let me know down in the comments below. I'd love any comments about what it was to improve or what you guys would like to see. Um, I want, would like to do these maybe at least twice a month, um, other than like non-specific like readathon vlogs. Um, but let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. I will have some videos coming your way in the next week or so. I've got my September wrap-up coming, my October TBR, my Spookathon TBR, which will come out in a couple weeks closer to the readathon, as well as a, as a September haul. And I ha am going to be doing the Spookathon photo challenges, so keep an eye on my Instagram for that. Those are really fun. I've got some really fun, exciting ideas that I'm really excited to show you guys. Are you guys participating um, in any readathons in October? What are you guys planning on doing? Um, but I'm really excited for the month of October. It's Halloween, it's Spooktober, it's just like everything that I love 